Hey everyone, it's week two of our golf tips. Anyhow, uh, we had great reaction to the golf tips last week. If you look at our uh, email hits, they were well over a thousand. Sounds like people enjoyed them. I want to thank Brett and both the Knicks and Trevor and Steve for their nice tips. And we're having a lot of fun with this as far as giving you ideas and going back to the basics just to make your golf game better, things that you can think about. And a lot of the golf instruction is, you know, you're out on a driving range and you're hitting balls with somebody or you're playing and you're thinking about what you're doing. But actually, when I really think about it, the best players that we work with, we give them an idea and they think about it off course and then they're able to do it on course. So obviously this time is perfect in order to do that. So this week we're gonna go into the full swing and we're gonna get the opportunity to start the swing out with how we get set up to the ball and how we get the club loaded properly to the back swing. I wanna say before we go into this, there's really no right or wrong way to swing. We've seen people with a lot of different actions, but there's certainly an orthodox way to go about it that makes it the most simple. And the idea of this week is to get you through those orthodox items so you get better at your golf. So we'll start here. We're just gonna do set up and alignment. And if you look right here, there's the ball, that's the ball that I'm gonna hit. And if you look down there where the other ball is, that's the intermediate point. And I really think it's a good idea when you're practicing any length of shot, even in putting, that you almost have an intermediate point that you look through. I feel fortunate enough that I got to see Nicholas play golf at the end. I remember watching him play golf literally at Augusta in 86 Masters and being on the 17th hole and watching him get that intermediate point the way that he was looking through it over and over and over again before he hit his shot. I'll never forget that. And then obviously with Tiger growing up in the area, I've got to watch Tiger play a lot of golf. And when he was a really little guy, I'm talking six, seven years old, his teacher, Rudy Duran, had already taught him to look down the line and get an intermediate point. This year at the President's Cup, spending a lot of time with Tiger there when Patrick was playing on the team, I got to watch Tiger hit a lot of practice shots because he was always kind of warming up around Patrick and then playing in those matches as well. And it was uncanny how much his look at the intermediate point hasn't changed after all these years. And those two are the best players, so I think it's certainly something we should do. So then we'll take you through the setup as we go. And I want you to imagine what I do. We're going back to our favorite wall that we talked about, kind of what my old man said. This is what you should square yourself against. So when I was like learning to play, I always hit on the right hand side of the driving range where the fence was, so I could kind of line myself up like that. And even when we're out there without a fence, I imagine a linear line that goes right down there at the target. So if you can imagine as I walk up, and I want to talk about this in parts, I pick the ball, I look through, I pick an intermediate target line down there where the ball is so everybody can see where we're going. And then I try to cruise into it so I'm just almost equal distance to where I would fall over to make my posture. And I love the idea that the club is going straight up in the ground so it perpendicularly bisects the ground and the target line and then I'm just going to try to feel like I use my nose and the shaft to hang right over to the ball to get set up. And notice in this spot right here that my nose and uh, shaft are right over the ball and the club head is right behind it. Notice my, notice my head is up like that and I haven't set my feet yet. And then I go ahead and I set my feet into the shot and away I go and I'm ready to go. And then from this spot right here, I'm going to turn the track down at the target line and I can start my swing. And in one second, we'll come back and you can hit the second video and we'll kind of show you how to make the swing. But to re reiterate one time what's really important, is I line up, the club's up and down in the air, I hang over and I get set up like that, I make my stance, so I'm in the position like that in order to make my stance like such, I track down to the target line and away I'll go. Notice my posture lines on my upper body, it looks like my shoulders are back and it's one line. Notice how my feet are shoulder width and they're equal distance to the target line. Notice how I have a slight little knee flex and my head is nice and tall, this is a great spot to play from. Most people, when they sit up to their posture, they just kind of hang over into their posture and then all their lines are off. I guarantee if you set up this way, not only will you be pointed out a spot that's going to make you go towards the target, but it also will give you the ability to get your body set up in the right lines in order to play golf. All right, thanks.